Well, the stars of Israeli TV series uh, Foda are joining the Israeli fight back against Hamas. From uh, Rona Lee to Idan Amiri to Leo Ras, the popular actors of TV series have come out and called out the barbarity of Hamas and have asserted that their country will keep fighting until it prevails. Speaking to Times Network, Rona Lee Shimon said she is even ready to pick gun to fight along Israeli forces and defend her motherland. Uh, listen in to her conversation with my colleague Pradeep. Right now, I'm joined by Ronali Shaman, one of the finest actors. With her talent and performance, she has won a billion hearts. But today, her heart beats for countrymen, heart beats for all those people who have been held hostage for the last several days by Hamas terror organization. And she has been doing whatever she can to get those hostage back so that they are back with their near and dear man. Shonali, thanks for talking to Times Now. What all you have been doing to get them back? The first thing that we have been doing is obviously sharing this atrocities with the world and, and getting support from all the leaders of the free world in the help of getting our hostages back. We are in the middle of war. War has broken on October 7th, eight days ago, and we are focused to win this war, to prevail and to get our hostages back. Have you started any kind of a campaign on social media also, where you have been trying to amplify the voices, telling the world that you have to put pressure on Hamas to get your people back? Because that includes nine-month-old baby, four-year-old baby, elderly people. I don't think there is one person in Israel who is not doing just that. Everybody is on social media, communicating the, um, this horrible state that we are in. We have more than 150 hostages being captive, being tortured by Hamas. We have uh, more than 1,300 people butchered and murdered, babies, mothers, elderly. Um, so this is war we're dealing with. And we will do everything in our power to prevail. I know it's a very tough time for all of you and it's really very painful to talk about those things again and again. But do you think that you will be able to change heart of organization like Hamas, a terror organization? You'll be able to stir the conscience of this organization who did not spare even women and children? It's a very tough question. I, I, and I will say this with the utmost sorrow that anyone could feel. I think that some people are beyond help because if there is any human being that could have done what these people have done to our babies and to our women, these are not people that will ever be able to hear us or talk to us or have any conversation about anything else but bloodshed. How do you feel when you see some of the countries still supporting Hamas, trying to project this terror organization as a victim? How do you react to those statements? What do you really feel? How painful it is? I think it's, a, it's very painful because it's, um, I think it's exposing, you know, whoever doesn't understand that this is a, an important moment in history where it's good versus evil and is not on the good side, history will not forget this time. It's a very important time in history, right? And we will do everything in our power to win, to win this war. So people who are trying to project these villains as victims, so what do you have to say to them? I'm sorry, I'm a bit... Um... People who have been trying to project these villains like Hamas as victims. So what will be your message to those countries, that ecosystem, that lobby that is working against Israel and interest of humanity? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a bit about the facts. People who have stolen every bit of sources given by the free world to Gaza and everything that they've built was created to murder other human lives is not people that can say about themselves that they are victims. 
they will never be able to call themselves a victim of the situation that they themselves are doing for years on end. This will never be true. Never. Now the world knows. You've seen the videos. You have seen the videos. The hard, what they've done will be forever remembered and forever be, no one will be able to deny this. No one. How do you see the kind of support you got from India and Indians from day one? Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he not only condemned that uh, attack, but he expressed solidarity and messages loud and clear. There's nothing called good terrorism, nothing called bad terrorism. Terrorism is terrorism and we need to counter it together. How do you feel so? I feel grateful because I think this is the one thing that countries, that all the world should do to support not only Israel, but mankind. If we're not going to condemn this action that was done, it's like we're losing a part of what makes us human. How do you feel about India and its Indian support for you people? Because we are here also reporting. We are also as if we are reporting for someone from our own country. We feel the same. We love India. So many people, you know, India and Israel have such good relationships for so many years. And it's, uh, it's, um, it fills my heart with gratitude to know that you guys are standing by us at this very, very tough moment. Often these organizations, these Islamist radical organizations, these fanatic outfits, these terror outfits, they always try to use religion. You think this is Islam, that Hamas is falling? I think it's extremists. I don't think it's Islam as a whole. I think Islam can be a beautiful religion. I think it's the extremists that really do not want Israel to exist and they will do everything in their power to annihilate and genocide Israel. You think they are giving a bad name to their own religion by with this, such acts of, of terror? Of course. Do you know how many Arabs are, 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 are suffering from the existence of Hamas? Hamas has proven eight days ago that they are ISIS. The whole world should know, the whole world should be very alert about this thing. And they are uh, hurting so much of the Arab world, I am sure of it. Ever you thought We're getting so many messages from, from across the border, from people in Gaza who they want to leave and they want to live a good life. They just, Hamas won't let them. It's insane, people don't know this. When you played the role of Nutrit, ever you thought that what really you played in the real life, something of that sort is really going to happen in the real life too, that Israel is going to witness such a kind of a nightmare, because this will be remembered as the darkest Saturday, horrific Saturday. No one will ever like to have any such day. They converted almost festival into mourning. I don't think anyone in their right mind could have written such atrocities. Well, last question. What you would like to tell Hamas, one message at this stage for hostage and to Hamas. For the hostages, I want to say that we will do everything in our power to rescue, to rescue them. And um, I want to tell Hamas that we will win. Many of your co-actors we have seen, they have picked up the gun, they have volunteered to be there on the border to be with their forces so that they can fight against the terror organization. You chose once dance, not forces, because that time you're following your passion. Now the country requires you. Will you pick up the gun for your countrymen this time? I will do everything in my power to help Israel protect itself. That is what actually feels like saluting. This is called the Jewish spirit. This is called the Israeli spirit. See, no bullet, no rocket, no terror attack can shatter the spirit. It is only going to strengthen their resolve. As Ronali rightly said, she's going to do anything for her country, anything for her countrymen. Because her strength and resolve only indicates one thing, that you can snuff out life of a person, but you cannot kill that Israeli soul. And that's the real example what she's trying to show.